Hi friends and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today we're going to be doing tons of spring cleaning and then at the end of the video I'm going to be sanitizing the entire house due to the coronavirus and just trying to keep things super super clean in my house. Just in case you're new here, my name's Katie Satilli, and I'd love for you to stick around and hit that red subscribe button, followed by the little bell for the notification so that you can be alerted anytime I upload new footage. Also, don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram account. I'm always there every single day in my Insta stories and posting really fun posts, so you won't wanna miss out on that. Now, I truly hope that this video finds you and your family doing well. I know that there has been so much going on this week. I don't even know how to address it in this video, but I know that I want to address it just to make sure that you guys are doing okay and that wherever you live that you are finding food that you need and toilet paper and safety and all those things. So I'm just praying for you guys and hoping that you guys are in a good place. I know that it's been a crazy, crazy couple of weeks, especially this past week. Things seem to have gotten a lot crazier here in the United States. Not sure if everybody is watching from the United States. I'm sure that there are people from different countries, but um, I just hope that this video finds you in an okay place. I'd actually love to hear in the comments where you live and how things have been for you. Just kind of give me like an update of what your week has been like and what it's been like in wherever you live, whatever state you're in or whatever country you're in and how the coronavirus has affected your community. And on a lighter note, this video is in collab with one of my longtime YouTube friends, Jessica Ann Davis. She is from the channel Mrs. Davis and I want to make sure that you guys head over and check out her channel. She actually started around the exact same time that I started doing YouTube and she took a little break for a little while, but now she's back. So I wanted to help make that announcement so that everybody can head over and check out her channel again because she is phenomenal. She has such a sweet heart. She has three kiddos and lives in North Carolina. And I just love, love, love her. So I know that you guys will too. So go ahead and check her out. She's doing a spring cleaning and sanitizing video as well. So I had mixed some cleaner in my O-Cedar Spin Mop bucket and it's just mixed with hot water and I was wiping down all the counters just to try and get all of the dust off. And then after that, I am going to get all of the cupboards cleaned, which was quite a big task. You will see a lot of this video is cleaning the cupboards and wiping them down. But then after that, I went ahead and sanitized the countertops so that I would make sure that everything was really, really clean. And then at the end of the video, I will go over and sanitize the whole house again. Also, if you want, I am going to make a list and put it down in the description box of all of the things that you should think about sanitizing in your own home. And um, I went ahead and cleaned all those things at the end of this video just because I had been reading articles and I had been walking through the house and just seeing different things and thinking like, oh, I really need to sanitize that. And so I just wanted to make sure that my house is really clean and sanitized from the coronavirus for my family and myself. And yeah, so that is down in the description box. Don't forget to go take a look and just see if there might be some areas that you might want to clean in your house. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray down all the cupboards with my Clorox Sentiva and I love this stuff. It smells so good and so fresh. If you have not picked one up yet, I would highly recommend it, even though right now is probably not the best time to go on the hunt for this product. But if you do find it, I would highly recommend snagging it up. It smells wonderful.
this week was really crazy for us. We live here in Los Angeles, California. And so there's just so many people in the city that um, when all the stuff from the coronavirus hit, it's just been really chaotic here and lots of um, crowds at the grocery store, which I know that it's been like that in all of the states. But um, we had a really long line that went through like the entire parking lot, lapping it over and over for Costco, which I showed over on my Instagram and it was just insane. And we live right across the street from that. So it was just um, a really crazy couple days at the stores. There's been no food, nothing that you can purchase, absolutely no toilet paper in any store for sure. And yeah, I know that we are not the only place that's like that, but um, I just feel like it is just complete um, crazy madness over here. But we've been keeping positive and honestly um, have just felt really thankful for the food that we do have and um, just trying to keep like a positive mindset and just trying to keep thankful for all that we do have. Now those bins that I have on top of my refrigerator are just filled with my kids' toys. We do live in a pretty small condo here in Los Angeles, so I have to get kind of creative with where I can keep stuff. So I have those bins up there and they are, one of them is filled with Legos and one of them is filled with craft supplies. And I just like to keep those up there for my kids so that it's easy to get and um, it just kind of keeps it all in one spot and it doesn't look like too much of an eyesore. And now I'm on to spraying down the bottom cupboards, which might I say that these were way dirtier than the top cupboards. I think just because things will spill on them or fall on them or handprints from the kids get all over them. And so these just were really, really grimy and dirty. You can't fully tell in this video, but it was pretty bad. So I was asked over on my Instagram how I get my cleaning done with so many kids and I just try and do things when my youngest son is taking a nap. So the older two were in the living room building a tent and kind of just playing independently by themselves and so I just took that as an opportunity to get some cleaning done. And I had written out a list of spring cleaning things that I wanted to get done, especially here in the kitchen. Um, so I was getting tons of stuff done this day. I'd love to know in the comments how you guys have been affected as far as your kids' schools being canceled. Are you a stay-at-home mom? Are you a working mom? How is this affecting your life? I know for me, my daughter's school is canceled for a couple of weeks and so she'll be staying here with us and I feel really good about that, about her being at home, but I do know that it's going to be a lot louder and busier and a little bit crazier having all three kids at home every day and we're going to be working on schoolwork as well. So it's definitely affecting us a little bit and yeah, so let me know down in the comments how it's affecting you.
So this is my last and final cupboard that I will be cleaning, which I was so thankful when this was all done. If you're still here, leave me a little heart emoji down in the comments just to show me that you made it all the way through the cupboard cleaning. So now that the cupboards were all clean, I wanted to go in with my stainless steel cleaner and just polish up all the stainless steel in the kitchen. I love the way this looks. You guys know if you watch my cleaning videos that you just know that I love when my stainless steel is all clean, streak free, free of all of the fingerprints and anything that might have dripped on it and I just love when it looks all polished. It makes such a huge difference in the kitchen. Hey guys, okay, here's the second part of the video. I have my to-do list right here and and I need to deep clean my trash cans. I have been putting this off for so long. I don't wanna touch them, I don't wanna mess with it, but I grabbed my Clorox and I am going to clean those bad boys out, so. Get ready. <laughs> So now that the trash can is done, I am heading over to the bathroom door, which if you watch my spring cleaning video from last weekend, you'll know that I went through and wiped down all the doors, but for some reason I forgot to wipe down this door. And so I wanted to make sure and get it all clean because it is just so full of fingerprints, so full of like little toothpaste spots and all kinds of stuff. So anyways, this made a huge difference when I went ahead and cleaned it all wiped down.
So now I'm just heading into the bathroom and I'm going to be cleaning and sanitizing the toilet. I was using a rag, which I'm going to be honest, I don't usually use my cleaning rags on my toilet just because it grosses me out to reuse them. I don't know why, it just does. So I always use toilet paper when I'm wiping these things down, but since lately I feel like toilet paper is like gold and I definitely know that we don't have any around here by us. so. I don't want to use toilet paper to clean and we don't have any paper towels either so I went ahead and used my rag and I actually ended up throwing out a couple of the rags that I used in this cleaning session. I think the one from the trash can that I did in the kitchen and then that one that I used for the toilet. I just went ahead and threw them out. They're old rags. They're super like worn down and I just felt like I was so grossed out by them. Let me know in the comments if you like to use rags for everything or if you use paper towels. As I was working down my list, I went back into the kitchen and sprayed this down. The thing that was on my list to clean over here was actually the vents, but I realized that the cupboards were also included in the kitchen cupboards that I forgot to wipe down earlier in the video. So I went ahead and wiped down the cupboards and all of the vents. Okay guys, this is day three for this cleaning video. I wanted to, in light of everything going on in the world, I wanted to take some time to sanitize the house. So I figured I'd just stick it in with the spring cleaning video. So make sure that you check out the description for my full list of all the things I'm gonna sanitize so that you can sanitize your own house too. There's Fiona. We're I'm wearing ma yellow too. We're matching today. I wanted to, make this list for you guys and for myself to sanitize like all the random things that we don't think about. So I was reading some articles about it and I was just walking through my house and kind of taking notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I wanted to go ahead and wipe down all of the doorknobs or handles in the entire house and then I went ahead and wiped down this stick that I use to open up the blinds which I was like I don't know if I've ever cleaned that stick off I know it's kind of gross but I I don't know if I have so anyways I was happy to get that thing all sterilized also don't forget to check my description box so that you can find a list of everything that I was sanitizing and I even put a few extra things on the list that I didn't end up sanitizing that I had already sanitized a couple days before this like at the beginning of the video so anyways if you want to have like a complete list of everything that I was sanitizing make sure you check the description box
So I know this is super random, but I wanted to go ahead and wipe down the sanitizer bottle because we always grab that when our hands are dirty. So I figured it's probably dirty. And next I was going to be cleaning our toothbrushes and toothpaste. And I know it sounds also kind of funny, but I was reading an article the other day that was talking about all the things that we always touch that we don't think about and the toothbrush and toothpaste were on that list and I thought that's genius I want to wipe mine off so I got my kids toothbrushes out and wiped them all off and then I did mine and I just felt so much better after everything was cleaned down So as you can see, we were kind of making cleaning fun. I had Shania Twain turned on on Pandora and I was just listening to her and singing and dancing and the kids were having fun. And so I just feel like, you know, cleaning doesn't have to be this like boring thing. It can actually be kind of therapeutic and kind of fun if we make it that way. So try to think of some ways to make the sterilization process and cleaning process a little bit more fun. Another random thing to sanitize was my daughter's backpack from school. I wanted to make sure that I really wiped this thing down well. And then I went ahead and took my Clorox and sprayed it down. And as I was spraying it down, I was thinking, why don't I just wash this thing in the washing machine. So I think that because she's gonna be off of school for a couple of weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the entire backpack in the washing machine. So now I'm gonna go through the house and wipe down all of the light fixtures, whether it be like a light like this, or it's um, like the lamps. I feel like any of those things get touched frequently. So I went ahead and did all of those and felt much better about the lights. So next up on my list were the keys and the remote control for the TV. Those are definitely two hot spots that get touched all the time that I feel like definitely need to be wiped down. And next up was our baby monitor that I wanted to get super clean. I have not cleaned this thing off in a really long time. Now I'm just gonna wipe down our Clorox bottle because again, you pick that thing up every time you're going to clean something dirty, so I figured it's probably dirty itself. And then the soap dispensers, I went ahead and cleaned those off as well. So now I'm going outside where my vacuum cleaner is hanging and I just have this lift lifted in my garage. So I wanted to wipe that down and then I wanted to wipe all the handles on my car down. And then of course the steering wheel definitely needs a good wipe down. So now I'm heading upstairs to the top part of our condo and I'm just wiping down all of the light fixtures and the laundry handles and anything that we touch frequently 
I also am wiping down the heater and air conditioner control panel and then I'm going to head into our room and continue wiping down the doorknobs and even the shower and the shower head. So I wanted to thank you guys for watching another video with me. Don't forget to go over and check out Jessica Davis's channel. I will have her video and her channel linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.